myself, uh, Professor Mihi Kumar Purkai from the Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. So my uh, main research work is our separation process and our advanced material membrane technology. I have another uh, your interesting research area on the extraction of value-added products from different agricultural resources. Here I will discuss about the uh, tea-based products. Generally, uh, in India, a uh, huge amount of tea is generated throughout the globe. It is a tea production is around 6.6 .6 million ton. Whereas China produces 40% of total productions. In India, produces 23% of productions. West Kenya, 10%, and the rest of the world is the remaining 27%. In India, Assam itself produces 52% of the total product, then West Bengal and Kerala. So it is seen that uh, most of the cases that factory tea waste, it is uh, the tea board of India, it's followed that 2% of the total product should be waste as per the Tea Waste Control Act 1959. So we have around 1.4 billion ton of tea waste, whereas around 28 million kg of tea waste is generated in India. So these waste, how we can uh, utilize for various types of value-added products because the tea waste that contains around 30% of polyphenolic component, then 20% of various types of cellulosic component, uh, then 20% of lignin is there. So is it possible to recycle and recover all those value-added products from the factory tea waste? So with this concept, we have developed technology to extract all those polyphenolic compounds, including catechins, and their use in the uh, various types of health supplements and tablets, capsule, etc. So, and these are uh, technologies already developed. We have made a publication as well as patents over this. And one of the T uh, component we have also measured the pharmaceutical, we have put a pharmaceutical grade activate carbon, which can be utilized various types of pharmaceutical products, ice cream, cake, biscuit, diluent in the tablet, capsules, etc. We also we have prepared that fruit juice stabilizations. Even after two years, that real fruit juice that can also be uh, your uh, it can sustain and uh, no deterioration will be there. Hi, I'm Prangan. I'm a research scholar at Center for the Environment, working under the supervision of uh, Professor Mihir Kumar Purkat. Uh, so here we have used in this lab we are using uh, tea and the tea waste to develop various products, uh, mostly for the environmental applications. And as you can see here, we are using different kinds of tea waste. Uh, that is, uh, this is the tea seed. Uh, uh, this is also considered as the tea waste because only 25% of the tea seeds goes for the germination. Uh, this is a general uh, domestic uh, tea waste that is from the green tea. And this is the black tea waste. And uh, this is the uh, tea waste from the uh, tea factory, factory byproducts, as we say. So from here we have developed various uh, product that also includes uh, carbon quantum dot and uh, this is the liquid of carbon li li carbon quantum dot in liquid form. So uh, we are using it for the various applications like currently we are exploring for sensing. Of Hi, I am Bani Shekha, PhD scholar in Center for the Environment working under the supervision of Professor Mihir Kumar Purkai. So along with carbon dots, we are also synthesizing microcrystalline cellulose from industrial black tea waste. In my research, uh, I have incorporated the tea waste derived microcrystalline cellulose in the polymer matrix of biodegradable plastic which can be used as a sustainable packaging material. This way the tea, the tea waste produced in the tea industries can be uh, utilized in a sustainable way which will promote the waste to wealth uh, concept. Hello, I am Somna Chanda project associate at the Center for the Environment. I'm working under Professor Mihir Purkayat. Our group works with complete bioresource management of tea and tea waste. So first, we extract green tea catechins from uh, green tea and this catechin powder, we convert it into uh, tablets and capsules, which gives good bioavailability and it has got higher stabilities. This, uh, after extraction, we are left with lot of tea waste and this tea waste has got high lignin content and very and it's lower in uh, its uh, inorganic content. 
so this is very suitable to be making it into carbonaceous products so we have made super activated carbon which has a surface area of around 3000 meter square per gram and this carbon is of pharmaceutical grade and we have successfully incorporated this uh, activated carbon as a super diluent into our capsules and tablet formulations which gives good stability and uh, it also helps in maintaining the moisture content of the product finally with this catechins we have also formulated uh, green tea based preservatives this preservatives can preserve fresh fruit juice up to 3 years and it do not uses any of the synthetic products so in addition we have also developed carbon dots from the tea waste then microcrystalline cellulose nanocrystalline cellulose all those materials uh, we have developed technology and also commercial scale products we have already uh, worked it on so many companies from the uh, northeastern states are also coming to us to adopt this technology it will definitely helpful to boost the economy of the rural and it also will be helpful for the act is policy government of assam or india then advantage assam and biotechnology in the, the government of assam policy also it is in line with the scope of west wealth mission which serve the purpose for utilization of various types of uh, uh, Highly added products from agricultural resources. So this project will very much helpful to the uh, development of the socio-economic conditions of the rural country, particularly in the tea garden and in northeastern region as well as West Bengal, the Jhelum, Kerala, where huge amount of tea factories are there, and these factory tea uh, tea waste can also be utilized for various types of tea, the highly added products.